Danielle. Danielle! Shut up! Go away. I'm busy. What's up your ass? What do you think? Do you remember the last time we saw Grandma? You mean the time when she went on for an hour because you ate mashed potatoes with a spoon? No. That was the time before that. I'm talking about when she... I'm talking about the time when she told me I had to gain some weight like every five minutes. Well, you could stand to gain a few pounds. Oh, thanks. Anyway, Grandma's, Grandpa's still mad at you for not having a bar mitzvah. What you looking at? Come on, what are you looking at? It's none of your business. So, what are you looking forward to tonight? Any special wishes for Passover night? Don't try to change the subject. I'm not leaving this alone until you tell me what's on that screen. Why are you so damn stubborn? Fine. How to kill yourself? <laughs> that was priceless. So, just to clarify, you're not planning on killing yourself, right? Of course not. But I might kill Grandma if she doesn't leave me alone tonight. You know, you're going to have to face her eventually. It's not just her, it's all of them. Their obnoxiousness exponentially grows when they're all together. It's kind of a frightening thought. True, but at least we can enjoy the awkward silences in the beginning before everyone's drunk. Awkwardness versus angry drunkenness? It's a toss-up. I'm still gonna have to stick with the awkwardness because at least you can laugh at it. I think I go with the drunks, though. They're fun drunks. I see what you're saying, but if Grandma decides to insult you for once, I might get a kick out of it. And I would tell you to shut up, but I always laugh when she gets you. Well, that's nice of you. You just said you'd do the same thing. She never insults you. I think I deserve at least one. Well, I'm sorry our grandmother doesn't insult me as much as you. You can't blame that on me. If you want, I'll ask Grandma to hit me really good tonight. I appreciate that. Happy to do it. Oh, crap. Car number one just pulled into the driveway. Stuck in a smiling position. God, I know. It's awful. I just wish this night would be over. <coughs> Can you believe that Dad's friend showed up, too? Honestly, that's one of the more obnoxious things I think I've ever experienced. Showing up in the middle of dinner. Is he even Jewish? No, and he's gay. Which will surely spark something with Grandpa. I know Grandpa's racist, but is he a homophobe, too? I wouldn't put it past him. He's got so many issues already, why not add another? I know he has his problems, but give him a little credit. At least he's a nice guy. You know, sometimes I wish I had one of those huge bombs from a cartoon. They could just blow all of them up. Don't you think you're being a little cynical? It's only this bad when they're all together. If you don't stop defending them, I'm going to have to kill you too. Yeah. Pay attention. I'm just saying. I don't think it should be like this. I think it should be at least a little less unbearable. Drama queen. What? What? I didn't say anything. Oh, whatever. I don't want to go back in there. Two more courses? Ugh. I know it's hard, but remember, you just have to stay positive. You know you're annoyingly optimistic. I know. Don't you just love it? Shut up. Kids, come to the table. Remember, just stay positive. Yeah, great. Wait. What? What is it? Do we really have to go back down to the table? What do you mean? Mom just called us. Yeah, but what if we just stay here? What are they going to do? Well, let's try it. Kids, come to the table now.
finally over. It seemed kind of anticlimactic. I guess by the end, everyone was too drunk to converse. Although Grandma did slip in that comment about your shoes. That was about your shoes, Will. Whatever. See, it wasn't that bad. I guess. But can you believe that Dad? Uh, can you believe that Grandpa cut down so much on the money that he gives us? Frankly, yeah, I can. Did you hear why? No. Why? Because I'm not being bar mitzvahed. Wow. Seriously? Yep. And because of that, I can't go to camp. That sucks. Yeah, but at least Grandma was too drunk to do anything worse. I told her off, but she won't remember. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Start preparing for next year. Thank <laughs> you.